Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for tuning in once again to one of my guitar blogs. It is Thursday, July 21st, 2011. And this time around, I'm going to address a really interesting question that I had sent to me from uh, Dominique. He's living out in Honolulu, Hawaii. And he wrote in saying, why is the neck of the classical guitar flat? And it's a really interesting question. You know, the neck of the classical guitar is very unique compared to the neck of both electric and acoustic steel string guitars. But I think to fully understand the concept of the classical's flat fingerboard, we need to first address why arch fingerboards exist in the first place. They're very common. They're on all your electrics and uh, most all of your steel string acoustics. So the arched guitar fingerboards on guitars other than the classical have a purpose that's a little bit more focused towards the fretboard hand. And for most of us out there, that's the left hand. So, you see, the fretting hand conforms far easier to the curved surface, and it's especially helpful to index finger use when we're doing the common bar chords out there. So, you know, so they're a lot easier to do on those arched fingerboards. Now, the flat fingerboard of the classical guitar helps the finger stylus plucking hand. So there is the reason why. It has to do with the uniformity and the use of the plucking hand or the right hand for most of us out there. So since this flat fingerboard design allows the plucking hand to better track the strings when performing, uh, that's the reason why we have it. See, the fingerboard uh, it being flat helps the finger picking go a lot smoother because the strings are aligned at a much more uniform level for both accuracy and ease of playing. So if now this is a big if here. If classical guitars did have a curved fretboard, then the plucking hand would have to reach a little bit more awkwardly for the fingerstyle technique. You gotta think about that in terms too, as, it, as if you've ever really gotten your chops up on classical and then moved over eventually to steel string acoustic or to let's say playing a Fender Stratocaster or a Gibson Les Paul. It's a very different layout for, for your um, plucking hand to feel how the string sets are go going across the fingerboard, you know, one at a time, it's really difficult to do arpeggio work, but when you get onto the classical, it's so easy to do that type of an approach. Now, there's one other thing here that we have to uh, look at, one other little bit of detail, and that is, of course, the bridge design. So, with a arched fretboard guitar, we have a curved bridge, and this type of bridge, which is basically essential to the arched fingerboards, um, would not only adversely affect the tone of the classical guitar, but it would put a lot of needless stress upon the classical guitar's more delicate and, uh, of course, the style of the construction and the design of the guitar. So, all in all, you can tell now that the flatness of the neck has a lot more to do with the plucking technique and basically ease of use. You know, the guitar is essentially designed from the ground up to be played with your fingers. So hopefully that helps out Dominique, helps out a few other people, and uh, sheds some light on the whole mystery as to why the neck of the classical guitar is flat. So anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching and thanks for sending in all the great questions. Really appreciate it. Have yourself a great week and I will catch up with you next time. Bye for now.